Galaxy Thunder here. I just want to explain what high magic is. Uh, a lot of my videos, a lot of things I talk about, it's high magic, high magic, high magic. So what is high magic? So high magic is in reference to high magic and low magic. Now low magic is not something negative. Low mean, just means of the earthly plane, of the earthly dimension. So low magic is to manifest and create change on a physical level. So manifestation of prosperity, new love, you know, new job, uh, even bringing in your gifts, things like that. Low magic is more aimed towards the physical world, right? Candles and herbs and oils and crystals and, and you know, chants, that kind of thing. That's all low magic, right? Now, high magic has to do with the transmutation and basically the completely changing and the whole alchemy process of awakening to your divine self, right? We all are a reflection of the creator, as above, so below. You all have probably heard this before. Now, high magic takes you step by step through that initiatic process. Um, now, initi initiation, initi initiatic process, all that means is that you're going and delving into those energies and awakening it within you. Right, and so if you join me on my high magic classes, my high magic courses, you and the other initiates will be going through these grades of initiation gradually, taking up higher and higher and higher, transmuting the light body to next degrees, awakening the clairs, higher self unity, um, all those wondrous things. And now, some of the one of the core principles of high magic is the alchemical transmutation evolution of the elements: spirit, fire, water, earth, and air. Right now, I have I brought my elemental weapons with me, but for spirit, there it really isn't it really isn't an elemental weapon. It's not really something you can grab right in the physical. Um, so first up, if you continue on the path with me, you'll make your fire wand. Now the fire wand represents your will, your determination, your masculine force. Right, it's all of those things, and you inscribe certain divine characters, divine names on the fire wand, and it connects to those forces very powerfully. Right, and I put some fire agate on mine here. It's a bit raw, that's my first wand, but it's very good, very good. Um, and so when you're transmuting this part of you, you're transmuting your will, you're transmuting your masculine force, your creative force, right? Now, we have to remember that the elements are also elemental. They, they make up the building blocks of reality. So when you're transmuting your, your fire, not just transmuting your will and your determination and you know really being a go-getter, you're literally transmuting your energetic makeup. You're evolving it. Next up, you have the pentacle. Now, the pentacle just is the, the star, right? It, it represents the Christ and, you know, again, the reflection of divinity and all those things. It contains within all five of the elements, each connected by one of the spokes. And it's the culmination of all the other elements. So it's everything in one. Now, specifically, it's about Earth. So this is more about the physical reality, the physical body, the glands in the body. Um, the physical is quite magical, right? Next up is we have the cups, right? The cups is your water, your emotions. This is also uh, your subconscious mind and your dreams, right? This is, again, your emotional body. Now, all of these elements are different layers of your auric field and different layers of what makes you, you. Right, so we're going to transform and evolve these through repetitive, or not repetitive, but through repeating certain rituals and evolving that. We're transmuting and evolving all of you, right? So the emotional body gets transmuted. And this is, people also call this the, uh, well, emotional body, some people call it the astral body, that kind of thing. Okay? And now over here is the dagger. This is the air dagger, right? Dagger connects to the element of air. It's quite sharp. It, it cuts things in half, logic. It gets to the bottom of things. It cuts uh, down uh, falsities and that kind of thing, right? So the mind is associated with the dagger, right? Now, I come from, you know, Aztec lineage, so I like the Malachi and the Obsidian, right? It really connects to me, but whatever works for you. Um, now, when we're transmuting the air element, it's quite quite a trip, okay? Because the air is your perception, your mind, your belief structures. So it's like shaking the foundations of who you think you are, right? Oh, I got chills. I got big, big, big chills. Uh, so for chills for me, like spiritual confirmation. Uh, so shaking the foundation of who you think you are and what belief structures you believe to be true, right? If all your belief structures aren't in alignment with truth or your higher self, they get shaken up and released. Right, so again, we're taking through all of these different elemental initiations through the pentacle, through the wand, through the dagger, and through the, uh, through the, sorry, oh, and then next up is spirit.
right? So spirit will be the fifth element. And the spirit, that is you. It is your spirit that we're going to be evolving. And when all the parts of you have evolved, you raise up. So TLDR, high magic, is the alchemical transmutation of who you are and awakening to your highest, truest, most divine self. Thanks for watching.